Welcome to this daily yoga flow. This class includes all of the essential postures that you may need for your day to day. It's a full body sequence suitable for all levels with plenty of options throughout so that you can change the postures to work best for you. When you're ready, we'll begin in a seated position. So take a moment to get comfortable. Rest your hands on your knees. With an inhale, lift from the crown of your head, sit up tall. With your exhale, relax your shoulders away from your ears. And if it helps you to focus, you can close your eyes. We'll spend the first few moments here just finding our breath. Just observing the chest as it expands with the inhale. And as it deflates with the exhale. Just consciously breathing. You may like to lengthen your inhale and your exhale now. If it helps you find a sense of slowing down. Tilt your head to the left and reach the right arm out to your side. And you're looking to feel for a stretch along the side of the neck, along the shoulder and down the arm. And lower your chin towards the left shoulder so you're just turning your head down. And then lift the chin up ever so slowly, just a little bit. And drawing the chin back down towards left shoulder. Lifting the head ever so slightly. So it's like you're giving your neck a massage with this movement. Find a place of stillness, then bring the left hand to the right shoulder. And you'll just use your fingers now to draw circles along the back of the shoulder, just where your trapezius muscle is, connecting to the neck. Adding a little bit of pressure so that you can relieve any tension that's residing there. And starting to work those circular motions up the shoulder towards the base of the neck. When you get to your neck, you can start to draw your fingers up all the way up to the back of your ear and then down, applying pressure where needed, going down to the base of the neck again and drawing fingers back up. We'll switch sides now. So you can lift the head back through neutral. Right side may feel a little different now. Tilt the head to the right and reach your left arm out. And again, you're looking to feel for that stretch along the side of the neck all the way down to your fingertips. And slowly turn your chin towards your right shoulder. Then lifting the chin ever so slightly up. And continuing with that movement, just little turns of the head to find a gentle massage for the neck.
And rest your head where it's comfortable. Bring the right hand to the left shoulder. And again, the fingertips will work in circular motions at the back of the shoulder, relieving any tension there. And slowly make your way towards the base of the neck. When you get to the neck, applying pressure, draw your fingers up towards the back of your ear. And then slowly down again, maintaining that pressure. Keep working the fingers up and down. Just a few more times. And when you're ready, you can release, come into a neutral position, lifting the head, flicker the eyes open if they aren't already, and come and join me in tabletop. From here, start by rocking side to side, Shifting weight into one hand and then into the other. Then lean all the way over to your left. Make a fist with the right hand, roll out your wrist. Keep a slight bend in the left elbow so you're not hyperextending. Shake out right hand. Then shift your weight all the way over onto the right hand as you roll out the left wrist. Keep a little bend in the right elbow if you have a tendency to hyperextend. Shake out the left hand altogether, come into a neutral position. Then bring the forearms down. Arms will be parallel here. Keeping the left forearm on the mat, bring the right fingertips to your temple. With an inhale, lift right elbow up. So you're twisting the chest open, rotating through the upper back. With your exhale, lower right elbow down to tap the mat. Inhale as you open, controlling the twist. Exhale as you close. One more of these, inhale as you open. Exhale as you close. Bring the right forearm down, left fingertips onto temple. Inhale, left elbow will lift up, twisting open to the left. Exhale, left elbow taps the mat. Two more at the pace of your breath. Bringing both forearms to the mat, keeping them there. With your inhale, let your belly lower down. Think of pointing your tailbone up to the sky as you gaze forwards. Exhale, press through the forearm, start to round your back. Bring chin to chest. Inhale as you arch your spine, let the belly go down. Exhale as you round. Keep this flowing at the pace of your breath. The next time you arch your spine, stay in that position, but walk your hands forwards. And instead of letting your chest sink all the way down, Tuck chin into chest and just hold this here so the chest is elevated off the mat. It's more of a strengthening, stability-focused variation of puppy pose. Keep pressing through the hands, relaxing chin to chest. You may start to feel the arms working ever so slightly, shoulders opening maybe. Take a deep breath in. 
Exhale. Then walk the hands back into tabletop. Slowly tuck your toes. And gradually pick up your hips, move back into downward dog. Keep a bend in your knees in your down dog. Start to sway your hips side to side. Pick up one foot as you sway and then place it down, sway to the other side, picking up the other foot. Shifting your weight in this way as you gently warm into position. When you're ready, find stillness in down dog. Take a full breath in through the nose. Cleansing, exhale out through the mouth. Gaze forwards. Take baby steps, walking the feet to the hands. Again, keeping a bend in the knees here. Round your spine forwards. With an inhale, slowly roll all the way up to stand, stacking your spine little by little. Good. Reach both arms up, inhale. And interlacing your fingers, but pointing your index fingers to the sky now as you reach up tall. With your exhale, bend to the right. As you do this, you'll want to sway your hips to the left to help counterbalance your weight. Keep reaching through the arms. You start to feel a deep stretch down the left side of the body. Inhale, we'll lift back up. Exhale, bend to the left. Hips will swing to the right for counterbalance. Keep reaching through your arms. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, come back up with an inhale, reaching nice and tall. Exhale, swan dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. You could bring hands to thighs as you bring the chest level to the ground. Exhale, plant your hands and step to plank. Stack shoulders over wrists. Option to lower the knees here if you'd like to modify. Big breath in, press the floor away. On your exhale, rock the weight forward, send shoulders towards the fingertips, bend elbows towards the sides of your body as you lower down to your belly. Keep the hands where they are, roll your shoulders back. Inhale, little lift of the chest, baby cobra. Nothing crazy just yet. With your exhale, lower the chest, come back to downward dog. Settling in to downward dog, make any little adjustments you need to, maybe changing the placement of the hands and the feet. And lifting the right leg high, but keeping the hips square, inhale. Exhale as you step, right foot forwards. Reach your arms up for high lunge. Right hand will clasp hold of the left wrist and then lean to your right. So you're using your right hand to draw you over to the right side, stretching down the left side body. Keep reaching tall as you bend to the right. And start to turn to your right. Right hand will reach back. See if you can catch your back leg. Left arm will stay reaching up. So we're just deepening the twist, adding in a little bit of a back bend. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, left hand will come down all the way to the mat. Right arm will reach up for a revolved twist. Options here, you could lower the back knee down if the legs need a little break. Keep spinning your chest open, reaching through right fingertips. Then roll onto the outer edge of the back foot. If your knee is down, just stay where you are. You have the option to heel toe the right foot back into side plank 
or you could see if you could sweep it there. If the knee is down, then you're coming into this modified side plank. So left shoulder is over the wrist, press the floor away. Exhale takes you back to plank. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, rock forward, slowly lower down to your belly. Keep the hands where they are, but this time roll onto the tops of the feet. Push the floor away to come up into upward facing dog. Roll your shoulders back, draw your chest forwards. You could always return to that baby cobra if you'd prefer. With your exhale, come back to downward dog. Inhale to lift, left leg high, hips stay square. Exhale to step through, come up to high lunge. Then the left hand will clasp the right wrist. Draw yourself over to the left side. Bending left, reaching through the arms. And staying with the twist, start to turn a little bit more left. Left hand will reach back, see if you can catch your back leg. Right arm will stay reaching up, lengthening down the right side. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, right hand will come down to the mat as the left arm reaches up to arrive in your revolved twist. Option to lower the back knee here. Keep the chest spinning open, reaching through left fingertips. Hold for breath in. With your exhale, roll onto the outer edge of the back foot. And just like before, heel toe left foot back to side plank, or you could pick up the foot if it's available and step the foot back. For those that are modifying, right knee is down for support, left leg is extended. Hold for a breath, exhale to plank, inhale in position, moving breath by breath, exhale lower down to your belly, inhale through to your back bend of choice, it could be cobra, it could be upward facing dog, exhale back to downward dog. Inhale to lift the right leg high, opening out the hips. So right side is stacking over left. Exhale to step right foot in between the hands. Spin the back foot open, windmill the arms to come up for warrior two. And relax the shoulders away from your ears. Flip the right palm up and turn the left hand down, so thumb points down, pinky finger points up. And then we'll switch, so flipping the left palm open, spinning the right palm down, so thumb points down, pinky points up. And we'll just continue to switch, like we're flossing the shoulders. You could add in a little movement of the chest, but legs will stay as they are. Come back to warrior two, straight in the front leg. Reach both arms up, inhale. As you exhale, start to lean back, keeping the legs strong. So you'll want to really press through the feet as you lean. Then lifting the chest back up, lower the right hand down. It could rest on the leg or you could reach to catch the big toe. Reach the left arm up for Trikonasana, your triangle pose. Prioritize keeping the chest open, overreaching for the toe. Take a full breath in. Exhale, look down for balance. Start to bend your front knee. You can either rest the right hand on the inside of the foot or you may like to bring right forearm to the thigh instead. 
Again, prioritize putting yourself in a position where you can breathe the deepest. And looking down for a balance, we'll step back to plank and move through our vinyasa breath by breath. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to find your back bend. Exhale, back to downward dog. Inhale to lift the left leg high, opening the hip. Exhale to step through. Come up into warrior two. So start by relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. And just like before, you'll flip the left palm up and turn the right hand down. So thumb points down, pinky finger points up. And then we'll switch. So left hand will draw down, right arm will open up. And continue moving in this way, giving your shoulders a little bit of love. Come back into a neutral position. Extend the front leg. Inhale as you reach your arms up and lean back. Stay strong with your legs here. Keep reaching through the arms. Then come back up through neutral. Left hand will come down, either resting on the leg or reaching for the big toe as the right arm reaches up, bringing you into triangle. Continue to open your chest towards the side of your space. Keep pressing down through your heels. So you're really connecting to ground. And you can look down for a balance. Start to bend the front knee. Left hand will rest on the inside of the foot. Or left forearm will come to the thigh, giving you a little bit more assistance. Look down for balance and we'll step back to plank. Pushing the floor away, hold for a breath in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale through to your back bend. Maybe spending a breath or two longer here this time as your body's warmer. Then meeting me back in downward dog. Look forwards and you have the option to hop, step or jump to forward fold. Round your spine, slowly roll yourself all the way up to stand. Nice, separate your feet for balance. And start by hugging the right knee into your chest. As you do this, lift from the crown of your head so you're standing nice and tall. Now this may be as far as you take it, that's perfectly fine. If you'd like to take it one further, bring the hands around the back of the knee and extend the leg. For those that can reach the big toe, right fingertips will catch the big toe and the left hand can rest on your hip now. Continue to lift from the crown of your head. Stand a little bit taller. And slowly release. Setting up on the second side, hug left knee into the chest. Stand up nice and tall. And find a place to focus your gaze. It really does help. Again, you could bring the hands around the back of the knee and extend the leg. And for those that can reach, left hand can hold the big toe, right hand comes to your hip.
Slowly release. Pedal out the legs if you need to. Then again on the right side, start by lifting knee into chest. Turn this way so that you can see. Then left hand will come to the hip, right hand will stay on the knee as you open the knee out to the side. This may be as far as you take it, if so, it's great. Or just like before, you could bring the hand under the knee and extend the leg. If you can reach, right hand will catch the big toe. This one is slightly more challenging for the balance. Don't worry if you're wobbling, I am too. Start by lifting from the crown of the head, just like before, standing tall. Slowly release. We'll switch to the other side. Start by hugging left knee into chest. Right hand will come to the hip as you open the knee out to the side. And just get familiar here to begin. If you'd like to go one step further, bring the hand under the knee, extend the leg, flex the foot. If you'd like to see if you can reach See if you can catch your big toe. One side may feel a little better than the other. <laughs> Don't worry if you have to throw your arms out to catch your balance, perfectly fine. Holding for one more breath in. Exhale and we'll release. Stand at the top of your mat. Inhale, reaching arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale to lift halfway. You could bring hands to thighs for our support. Exhale as you step to plank. Holding for a breath in. Exhale, slowly move through your vinyasa. The slower you go, the more strength you build. And meet me back in Downward Dog. Just grounding through hands and feet here. Relaxing chin into chest. Lift the right leg high, open out the hip, and bend the knee. And sweep the knee towards the back of the right wrist. Lower the knee down, and edge the back leg down the mat to come into pigeon. So for those that need support here, you could place something underneath the right side just to elevate the hips a little bit. If you do experience knee pain here, sometimes it can help to have the hips higher than the knees. For those that would like to go further, start to edge the right foot forwards. And then we'll slowly lower down. The pose may feel quite extreme in the beginning. Just stay with your breath. And notice what changes when you don't force anything.
Use your hands to lift your chest up. And we'll step straight back into downward dog. If the legs are feeling a little odd, you could pedal them out. And lift the left leg high, open the hip and bend the knee. Sweep the left knee to the back of the wrist, lower down and edge the back leg down the mat, bringing you into pigeon. Prop yourself up if you need to, or you could bring the front leg out a little further forwards if you like. And slowly lower down, find that place where you can be still. Use your hands to lift your chest and step back to plank. You could lower your knees, start to bend your elbows and arch your spine as you lower your chest. And keeping the chest low, slowly slither forwards. Inhale through to your cobra or your baby cobra. You have another option here. Instead of using the hands, you could reach your arms back. So you're relying more on your strength to hold you in position. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. It will help to broaden your chest. Keep rolling your shoulders back. Slowly release, lower the chest, make a pillow with your forearms, rest your head. If the lower back is sensitive, just wiggle the hips side to side. It may help to relieve any tension. And using your hands to lift you up. Come into a seated position. Then extend the right leg to the side, bring the left foot to the inside of the thigh. Rest the right hand on the inside of your leg as you reach the left arm up and over, bending to the right. You may find that you can bring the right forearm down also, if that's comfortable. You may even find that you can reach to catch your toes. I am a lot smaller, I must say, so my toes are not that far out of reach. If you're a lot longer, it's likely your toes may be quite far away. Inhale to lift your chest back up. Then turn your body to face your right foot and lift the left knee up. Wrap the right, the right arm around the left leg. Place the left hand behind you to come into a twist. With each inhale, lift from the crown of your head. With each exhale, twist a little further to the left. 
And move with your breath in this way. Just gradually moving into the space that becomes available. Slowly release, we'll take a quick counter twist, so bringing the hands to the right side, turning the chest to the right, take a full breath in. Exhale out. And then we'll switch the legs now, extending the left leg, bringing the right foot to the inside of the thigh. Left hand on the inside of the leg, reach the right arm up and over as you bend to the left. And again, you could play around with reaching for your toes, keeping your chest nice and open. Inhale to lift up. Turn your body to face your left foot and lift the right knee up. Left arm will wrap around the leg, right hand will come behind for support as you twist to the right. Without forcing it, just move with your breath. With each exhale, finding a little bit more rotation if it's there. Slowly release, we'll take a counter twist, bringing the hands to the left side, lifting your chest with an inhale. Exhale the breath out completely. And then release, extend both legs in front of you, come and lie down on your mat. Then stepping the feet in close towards the back of the hips. You want to just about be able to reach your heels with your fingertips. That's a good way to measure. Press through your heels, lift your hips, coming up into a bridge position. Tilt your pelvis so you're tucking your tailbone in between your legs. And if your knees are wanting to open up, try to keep the knees in line with the heels. I know it's hard to... Notice where they are right now and you can't see them, so try to feel for them instead. Press through the heels, lift the hips a little higher. And with your exhale, slowly roll down your spine, lowering yourself all the way down to the mat. Keep your back flat to the mat, lift both legs up so that your feet are in line with your hips. You can relax your arms either side your body. For those that would like to take shoulder stand, that's also an option here. For those that are in shoulder stand, slowly come out. And then we'll hug our knees into our chests. Take a gentle rock side to side. Massaging the back, releasing any lower back tension. 
Then gradually extend your legs and we'll settle in for Shavasana. Begin to deepen your breath. Slowly move your fingers and your toes. Hug your knees into your chest. and roll onto your side. Then join me back in a seated position. And that completes the end of this class. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed it. Have an amazing day.